Hey guys, Smart Sports here, and for today's video, I'll be watching film on the Seahawks run defense. Let's get into it. So here is week five against the New Orleans Saints. About five minutes left in the game. So we're up by a point, so third and one. As you can see, because the Saints have non offensive linemen, and that looks like a fullback, because running backs aren't that big. And. So, it will probably be a direct tap to Taysom Hill, who is right there. And, as we should, they are stacking the box. Let's see how this play goes. So, right, right here, number six, Quandre Diggs, is pretty much the only Seahawks who has a chance of making the tackle. They are stacking the box, and there were a lot of offensive linemen, so the majority of them are boxed. See if he makes it. So he missed the tackle. And Tariq Warren did end up catching him, but could not tackle him in time. He got there. In plenty of time, but just c couldn't make the tackle in time. He did make a tackle, but once he did, he was in the end zone. So that was just not very good rush defense. When you know exactly what we're going to run, and you know who we're going to run it with, y you have to be able to make the tackle right there. And really the only people who had a chance of making tackles were in the secondary. No linebackers or... Defensive lineman did anything about play, so that was just not not good at all by the Seahawks rush defense. Now let's look at another play. So this is week 12 versus the Raiders, midway through the second quarter, we are behind by one. This is a possible running formation, and they are positioned relatively okay. They have... Five people around, like, the line of scrimmage. They have a corner on that one side. The corner on the other side, but he's a little far back. And then they have some linebackers here. So this should be relatively okay to, to defend the line if they decide to run it. And right there, a, a defensive tackle misses. And that, and that 99 is... Big Al Woods coming up, and he gets stiff-armed, and Jacob ends up running into the end zone. So, all in all, on that play, two defensive tackles were in position to make the tackle. None of them were able to. One of the big things is, they let him get the edge, and if he can get the edge, not good things will happen to you. And defensive tackles should not be the only people in position to make the tackle. Again, the linebackers weren't there. And the sa and corners and safety should not be expected to make tackles in the run game. Unless they're right there. They just cannot let him get the edge and their linebackers just have not been good. They had Bobby Wagner, who was really good in the run game, but now, since they don't have him anymore, they haven't really been able to replace him. So we really need linebackers that are able to get there. Because on that play, the, the defensive tackles were there, but no one else was. It has to be a team effort. So that was not good. Let's look at another play. So here is week 14 against the Carolina Panthers. As you can see, they are down by a field goal. In the fourth quarter, and this is a, a drive where they really cannot allow a touchdown to get back into the game. So the second and ten here. Um, they have uh, one running back in the backfield and three receivers on the right. So they could do a number of things here. And this kind of puts them in a tough place, but putting five guys in the box I, is a smart move. But you would like the linebackers to be a, a little close to the middle of the field. But because the receiver is hard to right, the linebackers have to be over there too. So let's watch the play. So 
So right there, number 26, Ryan Neal, has a good opportunity to tackle for only a gain of about 6 or 7. Still, that is not a good run, but if you make this, will still, it will be a, a decent tackle, and, and then you first fear it down. But, uh, but Ryan Neal could not made the tackle eventually, but it was carried about 10 yards. So, what was originally like a 6 or 7 yard gain to a first like field and short, because of poor tackling, is now a first down and they have it in almost the red zone. So that is a case of the secondary guys not being able to tackle. That's a tackle you, you, you have to make. If you first steer down and you get like a stop, they probably get a field goal even punt because they are kind of far away and you get the ball back. Can potentially take a lead. And especially against a team like the Panthers, where they are quarterback like Sam Donald, who is not that good, you you really have to sell it on the run. And they were guys there, they just couldn't make a tackle there. So that was a that was really bad run defense there. Let's look at one more play. So this is in the wild card game against the Forty Niners. Forty Niners are driving to start the second half. And here we think we have about six offensive line and doesn't really look like versus Daniel this play. Um that's a receiver on the right, I believe it's Ayuk. And Red was two on the left. And McCaffrey is in backfield. And here on the Seahawks side, we're rushing five. They have two linebackers here. A safety back there, which in the case, Ryan Neal. So for pretty much six guys that are, would really be in a good spot for one. Probably like seven or eight. See how this play goes. So right now, here, for any decent situation to tackle him for only a few yards gained, pretty much just running into a pile and you, and you can't let him get a bunch of yards here. He does get out. And right there, I, I want this entirely as hard because he did get out of a pile, but when Ryan Neal was making the tackle, Christian McCaffrey pushed him forward a few yards. That's not like the biggest gain ever, but that's like about like six or seven yards in first down. And did you make a 49 or second three, second four? They can just do so much there. So really that plays down to the defensive line just not getting free and not making a tackle. So yeah, that was my analysis of the Seahawks run defense. So. I think they need to do two things that would really help a run defense. They need better linebackers. Like, they need someone like Bobby Wagner who can be a leader for them. And they, and they need defensive linemen who can get free. Pro, probably should, like, get, like, a leader in defense for, like, free agency. And then take take probably, like, the rest in the draft. And they were good at times, but... Like, in, if you're in the playoffs against a very good Washington team, you have to stop the running game better. Even though it is Chris McCaffrey, he's a good running back. Defensive line was just not getting free. So, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye!